What's up everyone? It's your boy Norrenrad89 here and today we're going to be talking about another horror movie I caught called Audition. It came out in 1999. This is a Japanese thriller film. It's kind of a wild film so let's get down to talking about it. There's going to be some spoilers so this is an official spoiler warning so if you haven't seen it go run out and watch it and then come back and check out this video. So let's get down to it. Roll it! <laughs> So Audition is a Japanese thriller film directed by Tikashi Miike and this is definitely a quite an amazing horror film for me because I, I, I did enjoy it because it just is one of those films that has like a crazy twist in it you know what I mean if you were to kind of like just it's a slow burn and if you were kind of to quit on this movie like about 50 minutes in or 55 minutes into this movie you would have like no idea that it was a horror film because it kind of plays out as kind of like a Japanese romance almost so we follow a widower in this film a man who his wife passes away and a friend ends up hooking him up and helping him with like they pretend to be film producers and they hold auditions and basically are trying to find his new wife but all the women think they're trying to find an actress or their lead actress for their new film so as I said, for the first 50 or 55 minutes, like it's basically we're getting to know his life, what happened to him, you know, why he's going through with this and all the different girls he interviews. You know, we get like a bunch of cut scenes of him interviewing girls. So it's definitely a slow burn. And like I said, it's a film that you have to commit to because if you're going to quit on it, like, you know, you're not going to get to that payoff at the end. So it's definitely a film that you have to commit to sit down and really watch it because it's about an hour and like 50 minutes. So like I said, it's kind of like two different films. The first hour or so is like a completely different movie from like the last hour. But it has, like I said, a slow pace. And it was kind of getting to that point where it was like, eh, it was itching at me where I was like, all right, we could have probably cut like a maybe 10 or 15 minutes out of this. And it could have been a little bit better, moved a little smoother for me. But then we get into that third act and basically the last part of the film we learn about, you know, he meets this girl, Asami, and he finally gets, you know, kind of connected with her, learns, you know, really likes her. He's interested in her bio, like he reads her bio, he gets a bunch of the girl's pictures and like all this info on them in a profile. And he's really interested in just the way hers is written, all the stuff she does. She has like a ballerina background and all this kind of stuff. And he just takes a real high interest in her. So when the interview day comes and like they're interviewing all these girls, girls and she finally pops up you can tell he's interested in her a lot more than all the other girls that they've been seeing <clears throat> and his interest and curiosity just keeps building and building as he learns more about her but then you kind of really don't know too much about her like she leaves little breadcrumbs just gives you the most basic things to you know like oh I worked here you know I do this kind of thing for this person some weeks to make money so it's like you know there's not a lot of detail that she gives her about her background or anything like that so she's kind of a mystery but there's nothing like I said really horrific or thriller status in that first 50 minutes and then we progress into learning like kind of more of a backstory about Asami the more dark sinister stuff of why she is the way she is you know her stepfather was very abusive to her and there's a, like a lot of cut scenes of some really dark gruesome stuff that happened to her as a child you know when she was a young ballerina and it kind of just plays on to giving that more background story to her and I really did like her character I think hers is I wanted more time with her for sure because I thought she was the most interesting character in the entire film so that was one thing that might have been it's not a negative for me but as I was watching the film I mean it is kind of like a small negative because I could see a better film for me in my perspective, I would have liked to see a film more from her side of the view, you know, her point of view. Asami's just her daily life, but seeing it like it's played out normal, but it's really horrific and like kind of seeing flashbacks of her background, her choosing men to like, you know, hunt out and like do the things she does. So I thought that would have been a more interesting film for me, like an idea. But as I said, our widower, you know, his curiosity gets the best of him as he really dives deep into like finding out about this girl and is really connected and continues his pursuit of her. And then, you know, lo and behold, yeah, she is like a wild chick, definitely crazy out of her freaking mind for sure. She does some wild stuff. And like when we get into that third act, we get a lot of good gruesome body horror scenes and it's those really good 
prosthetics, realistic effects, you know, blood that they made, all the pros, you know, products that people make for sure. And I really did like that. And it's just, oh, it looks so good. And it has like this really good tense scene when she's like doing kind of surgery on the guy and she's like putting those little acupuncture needles in him and all these certain pressure points. So it really does like kind of tingle and like give you that little uneasy feeling of like, oh, like this would be kind of crazy and like creepy if somebody did this. But overall in my book, this film's probably gonna get a seven out of 10. Like I said, it could have been better as I was watching it. I saw like a better version of this film and I wanted a lot more with the Asami character because I thought she was the best character and actress in the film, you know what I mean? But overall, like as for like other things, it just, it took too long to take off for me. It could have trimmed a good 15 minutes out of it. And like for me, being an Eastern style film, you know, sometimes they're like just that build up, that romance, all that kind of stuff, the dialogue, it doesn't flow as easy as some of the other films that I watch. So, but overall, like I said, it's still a really intense horror film, one that you can watch and it's going to stick with you. You don't have to watch it a bunch of times or anything like that. So thanks for sticking around with me all. I hope you enjoyed us this talking about this new horror film that I caught. Well, it's not new, but I recently caught it. Like I said, I had a good time watching it. If you've seen it, let me know in the comments section what you thought of the film. And if you haven't, I recommend go checking it out if you could stomach some gruesome stuff. Because like I said, in that last third act, it gets pretty gruesome if you're able to commit all the way and stay till that payoff at the end. Thanks for sticking around with me, y'all. Don't forget to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, all that, and have a safe and happy day. Peace out.